General Sherman was wrong. War is definitely not hell. Don't get me wrong. War ain't no heaven either. But I'd be lying if I didn't say that Sergeant Hardwood didn't make it at least a little fun. All right, listen up, you no-bald eunuchs. Tomorrow morning, the glory of battle will be upon us. So I need a miracle from each and every one of you. Overnight, I need all of you to sprout the hugest sack you can and fill it from one scrotular wall to the other with a pair so large you can't even close your legs when you sit down. Corporal Harrison, can I get an amen? Amen, Master Sergeant. When the enemy is staring down a platoon, where every man looks to be smuggling two large beach balls in his britches, and then realizes those things are not made of plastic and or rubber, but are pure testosterone, well, half of the war is already won right then and there. But we're outnumbered 50 to 1. Who said that? Tell me now, who spoke at a turn and interrupted the speech that was going to win this war? Private, what is your name, and who are you addressing? Nobody, sir. Well, Private Nobody, to whom were you addressing? Nobody, sir. Well, beat me, senseless, and call me Princess. I think Private Nobody has provided us with some good old fashioned sardonic irony. Private Nobody was talking to nobody. Well, Private Nobody, would you be so kind as to relay the information that you were telling to this Mr. Nobody? Um, sir, yes, sir. All I was saying was that, well, we're outnumbered. Mm-hmm. Outnumbered 50 to 1, sir. Mm, and, mm, mm. So, Private Nobody, you are telling me that if each one of us kills 50 men, we will win this war? Uh, I guess that's one way to look at it, sir, but that's... Well, good grab it, Frankenstein. I think I just made a sissy in my pants. We've got ourselves a plan. We are Marines and we always fight no matter what. Corporal Harrison, can I get a hoorah? All right, maggots. You heard the man. Give us a hoorah. Hoorah! I don't think the devil can hear you down in hell. Give it to me again. Hoorah! Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. War is composed of battles, which are composed of skirmishes. War is brief snippets of explosive violence. A violence most likely caused by Sergeant Hardwood in his own private war. Nobody! I believe your estimation was a little optimistic. We are pinned down pretty good. I'm sorry, sir. Early scout reports were accurate. I'm guessing they caught in a reserve which mobilized overnight. That's something, at least. Sir? If they came through during the night, they'd have to be tired. And you called me optimistic. You're all right, nobody. My name is Gerald Bubkus. It's Yiddish. Talk about sardonic humor. Hey, you do! Will you get your kiss, kiss, ga, ga, check, gooch, is over with so we can win this war? Hoorah! Sir, I'm gonna try to make a break for it! <laughs> so, y'all, did I tell you that you could die? Get your corpse up and back in there! Man, hardwood is hardcore. Now that's speaking the word. I heard he earned his last name fighting in the ring when he was younger. That he could take a beating and keep on going. I heard his name used to be Chuck Norris, and then Chuck Norris's real name is like Simon Jones, and he changed his name to Chuck Norris so he could be tough like Harwood. Then Harwood didn't want the same name as some Hollywood sissy boy and changed his name from Norris to Harwood. Wow, really? No. I'm just making that up, but it sounds reasonable. Son, don't blaspheme in front of me like that. Grenade! 
Wait! Sarge? Corporal? Everything's gonna be alright, Rabbit. We'll get you a medic. Everything will be fine. What? Huh? Wait. Sarge. No, Sergeant. Sergeant. I can't feel my legs. This dozer don't got any legs, Private! I slap some bandages on those stubs. Pick up that gun and return fire. <coughs> Always fought, no matter what. Right, Sarge? That's right, son. Private! Private! No! Yeah. <clears throat> so, what do we do now, Sarge? Well, I say we fulfill Private Bupkis' last sentiment. Sounds good, Sarge. It's been an honor. Huh. I don't plan on dying, Corporal. Do you? No, sir. Well, all right then. Let's go claim our city. Sidney Hardwood? What are you doing? You're a 27-year-old man. Stop playing with your army men and go take out the trash. Now! Don't go any legs, private.